Welcome to the Nahat Lach Valley. Today we're going to show you the road conditions driving up the valley, the Log Creek Recreation Site, the Nahat Lach Provincial Park, and the beautiful but difficult to access Squawkum Campground. Heading up the Nahatlach Valley, the road starts out really nice and then it turns into a dirt road. I've just noticed there's railroad tracks all the way up here too, right beside us. So I wonder if we'll be able to hear the trains. So this is one of those resource roads that we've mentioned before that have radio calls to let you know when logging trucks are going up and down. After the resource road sign, it gets pretty skinny, kind of one lane, so you've got to take it pretty slow and uh, stay alert. So what do we think of the road now? Bumpy. Yep. Very bumpy. Well, the Nahatlach Road is pretty bumpy, and so far we've found two casualties. One, the shower door latch broke, but Mel was able to fix it fairly quickly. And two, the same stove element that the Winnipeg bumpy roads wrecked, this one knocked off the screw also, so we're gonna have to find that screw and put that back in. But uh, everything else so far looks okay. Fingers crossed. Welcome to the Log Creek Recreation Site here in the Nahatlach Valley. Let's learn a little more about it. You park, and then someone comes around and collects money from you. So it's that easy. No reservation, all first come, first serve. So you can have up to six people in your party on your site. Not sure I would fit six people on these sites. They're a little close together, a bit small. But there is one over there that looks a little roomier. Just scoping out site number one. And it's a good size. But yeah, this one is really nice because it's the only one that we've noticed that's like all by itself. Sites two through five are all clustered together. I think I see a sign for a site number six. Oh yeah, it's actually a site. I see a picnic table. And this one's nice too, because it's actually up on a bit of a hill. And there's trees all around. You can't see any of the sites around us. You can expect to see a picnic table, a fire ring on your site. There's a short walk to an outhouse. And that's it. No electrical, no cell phone signal, no water, no water spigot. What do you think of our site? It's great. It was a lot to get in here, got a little crouchy, but uh, it was worth it. We've got the awning out, so we got a nice shady spot here. The sound of the river, it's just uh, very calm, very quiet. There are two paths that look like they go down to the river. Mel's gonna try that one. I'm gonna try this one. Well, I guess I won the race. <laughs> wow, that river is flowing. Apparently class four rapids. It is a hot 33 degree Celsius day. And we just figured out something awesome. We have outdoor air conditioning. All you have to do is go down close to the river. Oh, it's even better like right here. Oh, this is nothing. Once you get to the river, you'll be like too cold. It feels about the same as it did there. Stand on the edge of that rock. Is it cool in half? No. Oh, it's like a wall. <laughs> I need my sweater. <laughs> All right, since we're outside of the boundaries of the park, I'm gonna see if I can get some drone footage of the really cool rapids. We've just come inside the boundary of the Nahalach Provincial Park and Mel just noticed something interesting about the sign. Hmm. Yes, we are in bear country. However, the sign does point out black bears and grizzly bears. <laughs> it's a little scary. Yeah. 
haven't been in grizzly territory before, so this is new for us. So we're going to check out some lakes. Right here at the entrance, actually, we've noticed there's a double site. At that double site, there is a tree swing right into the river. <laughs> so that looks pretty cool. Um, there's some people there right now, so we can't really show it to you. So this is one of the smaller sites that you could put a, like a very small tent kind of just at the side of the road. I wouldn't, I wouldn't camp here. I think it's very noisy. Yeah, it's literally just roadside. Site number one, not recommended. I wouldn't bring a trailer in here actually either because the road is so narrow. There's not really anywhere to turn around. But coming down to the lake, there is a pretty nice view. So it is pretty nice down here. So from what we can see so far, um, the first kind of couple group sites or campsites that we've seen in the park are kind of the best ones. We haven't seen all of them yet. And the other thing we've noticed is that the only points to actually access the lakes to go swimming is at those campsites. It's like on one side, it's like, oh yeah, I could ride on that. And then on this side, it's like, holy crap. The water just completely changes. I'm just walking into the Squawkum campground at the Nahatledge Provincial Park and it's a little bit of a rough road so I mean I think the truck could have gone down it but I figured just walk. There's some really big rocks. I've seen two sites so far both occupied. One actually had a small trailer on it that was pulled by like an SUV. Uh, the other one was just tenters but I'll tell you this road you know, I don't know what kind of vehicle you'd really want to bring down this road. There are a lot of huge rocks. It's actually a much bigger and much busier campground than I thought it would be. So there's even like a pop-up that they somehow got down here, but mostly tents. Some of the sites are actually right along the lake, which is pretty nice. So this is site number 22, right on the lake with this kind of view. Pretty sweet site. There's a little sandy beach down here. And actually you can see the water levels must be pretty high because I can see a fire ring that's currently underwater. So I imagine towards the end of the summer, the lake probably goes out and this is a little bit longer beach. So there's about 25 sites I'm told and just about all of them are full on a Sunday morning. Everyone's packing up though and I heard that coming up on a Wednesday there was only just a handful of people here. So if you are able to come up during the week, you'll probably be good. In terms of facilities, they've got a couple outhouses, but not much more than that. There's no water, no electricity, obviously, so, and actually no garbage. So you have to pack in, pack out. So overall, very nice campground. We only saw two trailers. One was a double axle, a little smaller than ours. I don't know how they got that down there. <laughs> Another one was a small pop-up. But other than that, I would not recommend it for a trailer. But if you've got a tent, you know, as long as you have a vehicle that can make it down this really rocky road, you're all good and it's absolutely beautiful. And that was Nahatlach Provincial Park and the Valley. We hope you'll come check it out. Make sure you've got four wheel drive though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And if you found this video useful, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you very much. And in the meantime, keep on, on living, living the life you've imagined. How are you finding it so far? Really good, actually. I haven't seen a pothole yet, which is good. Knock on fake wood. Cheers. 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 I'm just walking into the... Wait, what was it called? Oh yeah.